The February 2020 New Zealand Trucking Magazine main test is the International 9870 R8HD day cab 8 before self-loading logger owned and operated by Musson Logistics of Rangiora in the north of the Canterbury Plains. Experience is hard-earned, priceless and often underappreciated, particularly when it comes with a formidable intellect and cloaked in a reserved demeanour. Third generation Canterbury trucker, starting at the age of 12, Ricky Musson has amassed a swag of experience in his 37 years in and around trucks. His career passion is self-loading log trucks. For the past 12 years, Ricky has successfully operated his own business under the Musson Logistics banner. Ricky has never been satisfied with accepting status quo in terms of equipment design, whether it's his own gear or his employers, always looking to improve on capacity and efficiency. Fleet number one is an international 9870 8 before self-loading log deck and tows a brand new 5 axle Mills 2 skeletal log trailer, the first 9 axle self-loading unit that can carry its own trailer. The closer you look at the unit, the more you see and the more questions you have you immediately know that this is a machine that will be remembered for decades from one end of the country to the other and be the genesis of a new normal and it's born from a collaboration of good old fashioned Kiwi ingenuity. We met up with Stu McKenzie, driver of the 9870, powering up under the rock shelter in the watershed on the Arthur's Pass. The combination immediately impacts on you, both in configuration and presentation. The deck, the trailer, the crane, the green and white, the grill, the alloy bumper, stainless air rams, this is a truck that will garner many a second look. This is definitely a US style cab over day cab, yet the extra depth and lack of engine tunnel transforms the environment. The dash is a classic US retro feature with its signature international two piece design and there is a three plane binnacle right in front of the driver with its 15 gauge set. And the separate wrap for the switch gear, brake valves, entertainment and climate control. The gear shifter is tunnel mounted and very smooth action is found. Under the cab is the venerable Cummins X15, 15 litre 6 cylinder engine, producing 459 kilowatts, 615 horsepower and 2779 newton metres, 2050 pound foot of torque. Bolted up to this is the Road Ranger RTLO 2918B 18 speed manual transmission. Front axle set is Meritor MFS 143 rated at 13 tonne on taper leaf parabolic springs and shocks. Out back for Meritor 46160 axles at 4.3 to 1 with full diff lock and cross locks rated at 20,900 kgs that are perched on Hendrix and Primax EX Gen 3 air suspension with heavy duty shocks. Brakes are drum with ABS 6, tyres are 11R 22.5 on AccuRide alloys and there's Bigfoot Central tyre in. Ricky's gone for XT bolsters and staunchions. On the truck it's the quick lock drop in system using C90 staunchions at 30 kgs each. The trailer has the XTD7 bolster system, the first deployment of its kind in New Zealand. Chosen for its weight, there are six of the 107 kg units on the trailer, each one with telescopic staunchions that allow heights from 2 metres up to 3 metres at a full stretch. The crane on the back is the Powerfinger Q170Z. It's fair to say that Ricky's chased tear everywhere else because the big Powerfinger adds 2,955 kgs to the rear of the International. Ricky said the crane's about two sizes bigger than needed, but it was chosen on the grounds of performance and longevity. One of the cooler things about this amazing machine is its incredible success is in some way a metaphor for the three homegrown Kiwi entities it represents. Coma Borden is courage in the face of every imaginable obstacle, deciding all those years ago to build the truck New Zealand operators deserved. And Dean Purvis, who took a punt a couple of years ago and bought a legendary New Zealand trailer building name. And with the drive, communication, people and belief he's brought to the business, Mills to his future looks extremely bright. But most of all, Ricky Musson, 
a thinker, an innovator, a tenacious Kiwi battler, humble, reserved, understated, yet immensely capable. The ultimate answer to the project's success is what would they do different on build number two? And whether it's Ricky, Stu or Dean, they all think for a moment and say, bugger all, really? To get the entire rundown on the Muss and Logistics International 9870, then grab a copy and read the full story in the February 2020 issue of New Zealand Trucking Magazine on sale now. From all of us here at New Zealand Trucking Magazine, have a fantastic month, and remember, take care of each other out there and travel safe.